Hello everybody, I truly hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where together we're going to be diving into the Bitcoin charts here in another short, sweet and professional analysis for you. So without further said ado, let's go straight into the Bitcoin chart here to start off with and we're also going to be directly looking at the stock market because as always, I think you're hopefully aware of right now the correlation and how helpful this is to providing us an edge in the market right now. So I want to pick up directly where I left off yesterday's video, where we were trading around here. And I was telling you all that I have the bullish bias on Bitcoin and I am expecting higher prices. Of course, those higher prices have come and I'm going to explain what went on here at these highs and the reason why we're put locally pulling back here. Of course, we're ultimately just range bound. As you can see, low of the range, high of the range, low of the range, high of the range coming back down to the low of the range. So overall, we're just locally range bound here. Okay, and I wanna actually start off with a different viewpoint that we've not looked at recently, and that's with the double screen with Bitcoin on the left here, and I'm gonna put the stock market, the ES on the right. Okay, and I'm just gonna show you this, what we've been looking at locally. So of course, when we bottomed out yesterday um, at the CCV target on the support resistance flip on the MPOC uh, with those uh, divergences that we saw, if you look here at the crosshair, we can see simultaneously while the ES bottomed out here, stock market was sorry, while the stock market was getting its bounce underway at the support, Bitcoin was also getting its bounce underway at the support. And yesterday, while we were trading here, we had the daily and value area highest resistance. And I made it very clear, actually, I'm expecting higher here to come. Why? I'm expecting this value area to high to be broke because the stock market was moving on upwards as well. And I know the correlation and Bitcoin is slightly lagging behind. As you can see here, over the coming few hours, we did push on and we did break that value area high to move up to that high. We did not quite take the high, which for me was... Um, you know, a bit of a surprise. Normally, I would expect this high to be taken, but hey, this is part of trading <laughs> and you can't get it right all the time. Personally, though, I did want to see that high to be taken, not to say it can't be taken, but now we've obviously seen the decrease, we've seen the back test, and now we've seen another decrease in price. What happened on this back test? We got the back test of the CC. So this is where you have that short opportunity with the stock market moving down as well, right? So we know with the stock market moving down, Bitcoin's highly likely to move down as well. So with the stock market moving down here, we're obviously expecting the Bitcoin to continue to move down here. Let me move it back over to Bitcoin a second. So as we can see then locally, what's going on here? Let me just refresh one more time. We've gone from the low to the high to the low to the high back test the CC and now we're moving back down towards the low of the range. Okay, so we've got local support coming in at around 19,700, correct? If we lose that, my next support below us is 19,500, then we'll be moving down towards the lower daily level. Okay, so once again, ladies and gentlemen, this for me is a level to level trading environment. We, I know yesterday, uh, you know, I'm saying, oh, I'm really bullish on Bitcoin. You have to remember, I'm very much talking about local small term time frames. For me saying I'm bullish on Bitcoin expecting new highs is simply this high to get taken out and that high did get taken out. So please, you've got to remember some of my stuff is a little bit, especially the thumbnails and titles really out there. Please do not listen to the thumbnail. Do not listen to the title. Just listen to the content of the video. That's where I'm giving the information and that's where you can learn. Obviously, the, the thumbnails and videos are very eye-catching. The actual content itself here, I'm keeping very professional for you, talking you through the levels, explaining to you how you can actually trade this really well. So currently, for me, this is a range-bound environment. Okay, we don't need to get ultra bullish. We don't need to get ultra bearish. We can trade this range until it breaks. If we break the range to the downside, we look towards our next level to the downside, right? Where we then have our next potential trade. If we lose that 19,500 zone, then we can look down towards our next level to the downside. We have a sub-level 19,300, which is our HVN. So I'd be slightly aware of that, but it's not really a massive, massive level. Okay, um, you know, larger towards the daily. But again, I just want to emphasize this. We don't need, really look towards the daily while we're still in this range, right? Just as we don't look towards currently, I don't know, like 920,600, which is a level towards the upside. Well, between 2,500 and 2,600 while we're still within this range. Of course, we're aware of the levels. We are anticipating these levels per se. We know the levels to the downside. We know the levels to the upside, but we're not, you know, focused solely on one level while we're within this range. You know, this is something that we teach at Chart Champions religiously, right? Trade the range until it breaks. Because the longs at the, the lower the range, shorts at the higher the range. Trade the range until it breaks. Of course, when we break the range, we need to be ready and aware of the next levels to the upside and downside. Okay, and this is something that we also teach, that we do not need to know with 100% certainty what way this range is going to break, right? 
we, we don't need to know the way the range will break. The range will break at some point. Obviously, we can get swing failure pattern failed auctions of range highs and range lows. Uh, but at the end of the day, we do not need to know what way the range is going to break to make money. All we need to know is our next level of support and resistance, our next level where we've got some alerts set, where we're ready and waiting to trade. Then we wait for that level to be hit. We check the reaction and then we execute our trade. OK, within that, you do not hear me say we need to know the level we're going to next. No, we don't need to know whether we're going to 20,600 or 19,600, right? We just need to know those are some levels that we're aware of and ready to trade. And once the trade level has hit, we check the reaction and then we execute based off of the reaction. OK, and this is what we're doing a lot of focus on now, how we're judging those reactions live in the time, right? So if you want the help with like how to understand those reactions, what you're looking at exactly on those reactions. Well, now we're obviously offering the live trading streams. So if you want to see the live trading where we're doing that live in the time as it's happening, well, you can see for yourself what, what many of the members think about this. Everybody is very positive. Everybody's absolutely loving the new live trading. So if you want to see that, how you judge those reactions live in the time, you can come over and check the new live trading streams, chartchampions.com, as well as the new live stream that we released yesterday, which of course you can watch today and, and for the next 10 years to come. Um, but going over our primary focus of Atus, obviously we've been using EXO for, for quite a while, but we've really come to, um, let's just say, love Atus right now. Uh, there's a lot more templates that we have on Atus and it offers a lot more features at the moment. So we're placing a large emphasis on Atus, having everybody already at the exact same level, the exact same templates, all knowing the strategy that we're, we're all using to trade. So we can come in at any time, any point of volatility, know what we're looking at and trade this together. That's what we're getting, you know, at the level right now with the live trading, making sure everybody's on the same level with the same templates, with the same strategy here on Atlas. Um, you know, this is our this is our next focus and this is our next goal to get everybody up to to live trading together. So, uh, yeah, if, if you're interested in the education, if you're interested in, you know, this was this was uh, a glimpse you can see of what I was posting yesterday. Currently, we're range bound um, as the ES is moving up. I expect Bitcoin to break that value area high and go higher, too. And what happens with the, the ES moving higher? We did make a new high on Bitcoin. OK saying, yeah, the correlation is real here. And then what happened on the ES? The ES actually ended yesterday in a swing failure pattern slash that failed auction. So then you're looking for lower, right? And it's all about tra trading the reaction. Understand there's no 100%. It's all about, at the end of the day, a game of probabilities. But yesterday, after seeing the swing failure pattern and failed auction, okay, you're obviously expecting lower at the end of the day, right? Because this is a bearish idea. And in the end, you you get lower. Again, this is Bitcoin is lagging slightly behind but at the moment. Yeah, that, that, that would be my analysis for you right now. Um, range bounds until proven otherwise. We know the levels to the upside and downside when this range breaks. And, you know, at the end of the day, mark the levels, trade the reaction. If you want some help judging reactions, then you can check our new live trading streams. So, uh, yeah, this is a much rock. This is a much watch, prepare to be blown away. Uh, thank you ever so much. I hope you've enjoyed everybody. If you have, you know what to do. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. If you want to see more from us live in the time, check chartchampions.com. I'm just going to wrap that up by saying thank you ever so much. Hope you have a brilliant, brilliant day and week ahead. And uh, yeah, let's enjoy the rest of this range bound environment. Obviously, currently down and around that value area low, by the way. Okay, so yeah, that's that's me signing out. Thank you, everybody. Have a good day and goodbye. Oh, and I'll end with, of course, the disclaimer. This is just a non-financial advice video. Just do your own research. This is an education entertainment video only, and the trades are paper demo trade accounts. So, yeah, thank you, everybody, and goodbye.